Timber. Two Roblox the Scary Stories ride. Last time we made of the golden arm. This time it's I see you. It's from the same Scary Stories ride, but this is not the golden arm. This is I see you. We might do another Scary Stories ride after this video, probably tomorrow, one week, or something like that. But I haven't made a video in a long time. So, this is what I'm making. Because I haven't made one. I dropped my phone. Scariest thing ever. So, so scary. I am so, so scared right now. I'm so scared right now. Well, let's see. Kevin Edwards Jr. in this story. If y'all know who it is, go smash a like for him. While Kevin was at school, he got a strange text message. And it just said, I see you. Kevin, if 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 uh, they got, you got a strange text message saying, I see you, you should not pick it up. He didn't recognize the cell phone number. So he texts back, who is this? Kevin, don't get yourself into a world of trouble right now. There was no answer. Kevin looked around to see who it could it be, who could it have been, but he didn't spot anyone suspicious. Let's check. Hey, they just, why does this girl have no face? I'm just now just noticing. None of them is on their phone. Hmm. It is someone scared, and it just said, "Gamer." Yeah, a gamer stays up all night with their eyes open, having red stuff on all over his eyes, whatever. He asked his friends if they seen, if they texted him, or if they were pranking him, but they all said no. They weren't even on their phones at the time. Yeah, none of them are on their phones right now. Quite suspicious. There's a killer on the loose, probably. The bell rung, so everyone began heading off to class. Kevin just assumed that it was a wrong number and forgot about it. You shouldn't, well, you should forget about it because you're going to get more curious. After school, Kevin was hanging out with his friends when suddenly... Got, he got another text. I see you. Who could this be? Because he's the only one on his phone. Is it Gamer right here? This dude right here? It could be him. No, no, it's not him. He, he's, on his, he's on his phone, but I don't think it's him. What? Okay, 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 okay. He asked his friends... If they were pranking him again, they all. He asked his friends if they were pranking him again. They all said no. They began looking around but didn't see anyone nearby. They just startled, stro straddle, stroll, stroke it off as a prank. So you're just thinking it's a normal prank, huh, Kevin? Kevin, you're really that crazy, Kevin. Kevin decided it was time to get home. He said goodbye to all of his friends and headed off. He's the only one with a phone. He couldn't be texting himself. As he was walking, he got another text. I see you. Kevin texted back. Whoever this is, you better knock it off. Before I call the police. Yeah, I don't think you have it. You can do anything with the police because they probably ain't gonna even find his body. He got an. He got an instead reply. Instant reply. It was a picture of Kevin and his friends from just a few minutes ago. How did he take that? He must have been in the school when Kevin was looking. This really freaked Kevin out. He started walking faster and looked around. 
he began calling his friends and asking them what he should do. Don't knock it off as a prank, cause pranks on. Yeah, it might just. Oh yeah, it's also Halloween. Yeah, this was about to say right here. I think his friends reminded him that it was almost Halloween and that a lot of people were pranking each other. So he should just ignore it and calm down. Uh. Yeah, I know it's Halloween and all, but you shouldn't just. She coming. She coming. Your your friends are your friends are just out of line at this point. Kevin totally trusted his friends and realized they were probably right. This calmed him down a lot, so he decided to enjoy the rest of his walk home. Don't enjoy your rest of your walk home, cause you might just die. Kevin arrived home, just. As night had arrived, he went right inside. What could happen next, guys? Comment down below. Let me get out of freaking first person, guys. Welcome back. This is going to be a pretty short video, but pretty long video. So hold on tight, because we got more coming, by the way. As he was walking down the hall. I'm trying to make the creepiest voice ever. As he was walking down the hallway towards his bedroom. He got another text. I see you. Someone's playing with him. Some clown, some thing, some, some uh, demon or something is playing with him. He was getting aggravated now. And was about to text back when. When what happened? When what happened? Uh, you probably should. He got another text. It was a picture of the street Kevin lived on. Kevin started to realize that this wasn't just some Halloween prank. But shit. Bruh. It's a Halloween prank. This ain't no Halloween prank, bitch. I'm gonna slap you. You think it's a Halloween prank, Kevin? You really think it's a Halloween prank? Now he realizes it's not a Halloween prank. His friends are lying to him. His friends are trying to not tell him anything or trying to get him to get scared or anything so he tried to calm him down he sat down as his computer to quickly skype his friends but no one was online yet just then he got two more text messages one right after the other what was those text messages kev the first text just said i see you the second text was a picture of his house from his neighbor's yard across the street. This is freaking me out now, Kevin. Kevin, you should stop. He for. <coughs> sorry, sorry. He financially began calling his friends. But the text started coming again. I see you. Then another picture of his house from the middle of the street. This guy's on to something. Kevin started dialing the dialing the number, the police department. But two more texts came. I see you. Then another picture of his house directly out front. Oh, that's way for that's way too close. Okay, it's kind of laggy, but uh, we'll deal with it, guys. We'll deal with it, guys. We'll deal with it, guys. The police picked up, and Kevin tried to explain what was happening. When two more texts came in, I see you in a picture of his front door. If he's at the front door, I'm going to get in the fuck out of here, bro. You think I'm going to stay in this mug? You really think I'm going to stay in this mug? The police said they don't have any more, anyone in the area, but we would send someone as soon as possible. Kevin began them to hurry, but the Texas kept coming. Texas keep coming, coming, coming. The text one said, I see you. 
and a pitcher came right after the front inside of his house. He told the police the person was in the house, but then. Kevin got one more text. It was a picture of him from right in back of him. Kevin quickly spun around his spin around his chair. Whoa! Whoa! But it was too late. Yo, 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 yo! You gotta get out of there. This crazy ass. <laughs> Sorry for the inconvenience, your cousin. Uh, this crazy maniac is after us, literally. Ha ha, just kidding. That's not how it ends. LOL, go to the next scene to the, see the real ending. Kevin got one more text. It was a pic. Why that guy lied to me? Kevin got one more text. It was a picture of him from right in the back of him. Kevin quickly spun around in his chair. I feel like there's a jump scare coming. Oh, oh, damn. And smashed the intruder with his bat. Look at that power, Kawawa. Zam, damn, damn. This man on X Mode Game, seriously. And that is how Kevin defeated the killer clown and became a hero. So guys, if you liked this one, go on and give it a big thumbs up. Because he defeated the killer, Kevin Edwards Jr. And we're out. See you guys later. Goodbye. Stay family friendly. Thank you. If that's even, to be honest, a thing. Yeah, but stay family friendly because some people are weird these days. Sorry for that little inc- cussing venience right there, but I'm sorry. Okay, we'll see you later. This is out. We are out. See you guys later. I'm making too this long. I'm making this too long. See you guys later. Bye.